Hello and welcome back. This is Queen 3210 and we have finished disc one and we are about to enter into disc two. So last we checked, uh, the assassination mission went terribly, terribly, terribly wrong for a myriad of reasons. And now we get to deal with those consequences. So let's hop to it. There's someone here to see you! Huh? Me? What's this person look like? He was wearing funny clothes. He's talking to Rain right now. Hmm. Is he at the pub? Yep! That's why I came over to get you, Uncle Laguna! Am I a good girl? No, you're not. Wow, harsh. It's dangerous to be out there by yourself. What if a monster comes and attacks you? It's only next door. It's okay. It's still dangerous. And since you're such a cute little girl, the monsters will especially be after you. They'll catch you, and then they'll suck all of your blood. What the fuck? Wow, really? If anything like that should happen, Uncle Laguna's gonna cry. I'll be okay. I'll just call you Uncle Laguna. You'll come rescue me, right? Hey, hey, hello, wait! Wow. Oh, damn. This house has seen better days. See the dilapidated uh, furnishings on the walls. Uh, the chairs aren't stacked very well. Um, but most telling of all are the dots in the walls. Oh, the little girl's watching you. See? Yes, a good girl. And she fixes her hair. Dear Alone's father and mother, Alone's been a good girl today. So, I already know I'm going to get reamed in the comments because there is huge debate over the pronunciation of some of these names. Um, I'm going to call her Alone because that's how it's spelled. Uh, I've recently learned that some people pronounce it Elena. I think is how it's pronounced, but, uh, yeah, no, uh, I've always, I've always been, I've always been under the impression it's pronounced alone, so that's, that's what I'm going for. Sorry, folks. Right? Right! And she runs out. Actually, what I'm gonna do real quick, oops, I'm gonna grab... Diablos. And we're gonna go with Encounter None, just to make sure I don't run into anything, because by myself, that's just an instant game over, and I don't really want to have to run up from battles. Can't interact with the pictures, can't interact with the holes in the wall. I guess we just leave. So, notice all the Galbadian soldiers out here. Uh, this little place is under their jurisdiction, I guess. I can't go any further than there. You seem to have fully recovered. Perhaps it's time you came back to the army. Come on, guys. You could kill some monsters, too. We're only here on watch for us or soldiers. Screw the monsters. Wow, fuck you, too. Give me a break, guys. Okay, he just repeats. And what's this guy say? You think the Esther soldiers are really common? That was two years ago, right? They would have been here by now. But you never know what a country ruled by sorcerers could be up to. 
So already we have we have trouble stirring. We we we've gathered some information. We know the city was attacked two years ago. Uh, I assume that the holes in the walls are bullet holes. At which point, that was the site of some uncomfortable situation that happened. And we know the Galvanian soldiers are here on lookout for Esther soldiers, and they just don't give a rat's ass about the monsters. Come on. No, she won't say anything. Okay, fine. Alone, now's your chance. Chance! And she's inside the house. It's called Hub. You understand alone? Now go to your room and play. Ouch. I got in trouble. That's because you broke your promise. Too bad. Laguna, use proper English when speaking to alone. I got in trouble. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> They're such children. Oh, hi, Kiros. It's been a while, Laguna. Kiros! Huh? He's Uncle Laguna's friend. He dresses funny, but he's not a bad guy. Oh, now I have control again. You dress funny, but you're a good guy, right? Wow. Aren't you going to talk to your friend? You seem well. Yeah. You too. Hey, how long has it been? You know, our grand escape from Sentra. That was... One would usually call that being chased out. I thought so. Well, I would say about a year or so. I was bedridden for almost six months. Seemed like every bone in my body was in pieces. I nursed him back to health. Thank you for taking care of Laguna. I was able to recover in about a month or so. Ever since then, I've been searching for you. Why? After leaving the army, well, just killing time, I guess. Ah, uh, so Kiros has, uh, has, uh, withdrawn from the military. He is no longer a soldier. Life's pretty boring without you as entertainment, my man. That's a harsh thing to say. I've been living a productive life here. I think I understand what you mean, though. So, what do you want to know? So, we have options. We can just say screw it and let's talk later. Uh... But yeah, no, let's, let's catch up with Ward. How's Ward doing? Ward quit the army too. Luckily, he found a job and he's been working pretty hard. What's he doing? He's a janitor down at the D-District prison. So, if you recall, we found a magazine early on in uh, the playthrough when we arrived in Timber that talked about how a big political prison was being built under Deling. Uh, and and they, it, the the article said that the article said that it was uh, called Desert District or D District. So, Ward is now working at the uh, political prison. Wow. Can't picture him mopping floors, but I'm glad he's doing well. Oh, and he never got his voice back. Oh, that's sad. You could basically tell what he wants from his facial expressions, though. 
So, what do you want to know? Uh, okay, so let's talk about Julia. Because last we saw, they looked like they were about to start something before he got pulled away on a mission. How's Julia doing? I don't know. You mean Julia the singer? That's right. Julia really... Laguna really admired her and always frequented the nightclub. Shut up! So what if I did? Julia used to sing at a nightclub? Oh, no. She didn't sing. She just played the piano. Then the first time... The first song she released was Eyes on Me. How does that song go? You don't know? Well, you never let me hear it. I didn't think you listened to music. The song's about being in love. I really like it. Heard she recently got married. Oh, yes, that's right. To some army general, right? General Caraway or something. And there it is. There's the first inklings that, uh... The, uh, these dream sequences or these dream world visits are steeped in reality. I'm not too sure. <laughs> well, I read in a magazine that her true love went off to war and never came back. General Caraway comforted her while she was feeling down. That's how they got to know each other. So she didn't wait for the soldier to come back. So what? Who cares? As long as she's happy, right? That's all that matters. Ain't that right alone? Right! Uncle Laguna and Rainer. Ah! Okay, that's enough talk about that. I don't know what that screw was actually. <laughs> so, what do you want to know? Uh, the where am I? I think the fairies are here. Aries. Yeah, I guess so. Then our work today should be a cinch. I'm looking forward to the battles. Yeah, what battles? So what do you want to know? I guess that's it. Let's talk later. Time to do some work. Okay. So what's your plan here? You gonna stick around for a little bit? Would that be okay? You work for what you eat. If that's fine with you, you're more than welcome. Come back soon, okay? Well, have fun at work. I'll have lunch ready. And we can go up here. Definitely a one-bedroom suite. Or a loft, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, and they're just going to keep saying what they say. Okay. So, literally, this, this just definitely feels like it's supposed to be a buffer between what happened at the end of disc one... Add the rest of the story. So, really, it's, it's, yeah, there isn't really much here. Laguna, I have a simple question. What exactly do you do here? Uh, it's like this. All the working men in this town were sent off to war. The only ones still left in town are old people, children, chocobos, dogs, and cats. And I'm sure you've noticed, but the monsters have made their way into town. This here town took good, real good care of me. So basically, what I want to do is return their kindness. You're looking at the monster hunter of Windhill. So as of today, you will be my assistant. We're to patrol the town up to the town entrance. If we see anyone in need along the way, we help them. That's our basic duty. Yep.
but we're gonna talk to the locals and all of this shit along the way. What's this? Oh, it's drain. Who cares? Oh, hello, kind lady. It's been some time now since you've recovered from your injuries. Thanks to everyone in town. This here town must be quite dull for some la from a young lad like yourself. Perhaps it's time you return to the big city? That's not s such a subtle hint. And we're gonna go this way, because we can. And invisible wall is invisible. Barge into this person's house. She looks more like a church, really, if I think about it. Nice stained glass windows. The hotel. With nobody around. Nice little room. It's actually a lot nicer than the room that uh that he's got beside the pub. Alright, our first patrol is complete. We're to report to the commander and the assistant commander. Commander? Wait, you mean that woman at the pub? Her name is Rain. Rain, okay? She saved my life, man. Give her some respect. And the assistant commander is alone. Seems like she's a really nice person. But easily taken in by a hotshot, of course. A hotshot? Hmm. Okay, let's step up our patrol a notch. Assistant Kiros, let's come up with a plan after we get back to base. But first, we're gonna go talk to these people at the item shop. The hell? You've recovered? Now get the hell out of here! They hate me, but I still have to shop. They hate me, try to converse. They hate me, I guess I'll head back. So we'll do this. We'll, we'll try to converse first. I just wanna chat! How's Rain? Uh, she's doing fine. That's good! But it'd be even better if you left. Well, shit. So, that's the thing. Laguna says that the people of Wind Hill are kind, but we've seen, we've definitely seen examples to the contrary. Uh, we'll get into that later, I guess. But for the meantime, let's head on back. Uh, we have to go back this way because the game won't let us, uh, won't let us cut back the way that we had come just now. Hey, Laguna. Are you doing this patrol thing every day? Thing? What are you calling a thing? Weren't you aiming to become a world-traveling journalist? You've heard of Timber Maniacs, right? I had a talk with the chief editor at some point. He said he's interested in any article related to world travel. That's great! We should go talk to him sometime. Y yeah. And he does not seem very enthused. okay if we stayed here a bit longer though, right? Ah, I see. You need time to gather more material. This seems like a really nice town. Are you gonna write about this place first? 
No way, you can't make this place famous. Too much publicity, and you get all those tourists and stuff. You're afraid someone might come and take rain away. <laughs> Look at you, know, you've changed. Hey, I see a monster! You see no monster, I have encountered none on. Uh, so yeah, here's the crux of the thing. Uh, the people in Windhill don't like him. They want him to leave. The Galvanian soldiers that are here, they're encouraging him to go back to Delling City. Uh, to become a soldier again. But he stays. Regardless of probably feeling like he's not wanted here, he stays. And... Heroes literally just hit the reason on the head. It's, uh, it's because of rain. Laguna doesn't want to leave her. Because he's afraid that if he leaves, someone will come by and sweep her off her feet. Kind of like what happened to Julia. But the best part about that whole situation is, I don't think he even thought of Julia at all until, uh, he saw Kiros again. Yeah, that's all. And they're ju still just gonna say the same thing. Okay, that's fine. So we are gonna go back into the pub. And nobody's here. What? Girl, talk. Let's come back later. Mm -mm. Come on. Something inside me tells me to listen. Rain, aren't you gonna marry Uncle Laguna? A guy like that, really? He was carried in here crying like a baby, and I was the one who had to take care of him. His crude way of speaking, I don't know of his aspirations as a journalist. Every time I try to have a serious conversation, he avoids it. Yeah, he can't stand his snoring, and he talks in his sleep. But he's really, really nice. I really, really like him. Rain, Uncle Laguna, and Elle should all be together. But... You know, I think what he really wants to do is travel all over the world. I don't think he has it in him to live in a quiet country town like this one. Some people are just like that. Ooh, it makes me so mad. You don't like him? actually the opposite uh i think it makes her mad not because there are people who just can't be bothered to live in this town uh or just don't like it i think it's because she knows that as much as she wants him to stay uh she can't force him to and she knows his dream is to be a journalist and she doesn't want to get in the way of that it makes her mad because she feels powerless I recently heard anger is actually a secondary emotion and it's usually in reaction to another emotion, usually fear. And in this case, I think that's correct with rain. I feel the same way as you, Elo. Oh, busted. I came back in a hurry. Yep. Yeah, liars. Report to the commander! Here's my report on today's patrols and monster extermination. Including Boochie Boochies and Bun Buns that Assistant Commander alone oh so hates. I have exterminated zero monsters. <laughs> That's very impressive. Also, the Bucci Buchus and Bun Buns are uh, Caterchi Pillars and Bite Bugs. 
that's literally all you encounter here. So even if I wanted to like level up and all that, it's not worth it. Not in this area. All right, thank you. Shall we eat before you get started with the next patrol? I'll call you when it's ready, so just wait in your room. You do seem pretty tired though, so maybe you should take a map? I'll call you when it's ready, so just wait in your room. Let's eat! Let's eat! Let's all eat together! You're joining us too, right, Mr. Kiros? We have me and Rain and Uncle Laguna and Mr. Kiros. That's so cute. Well now, shall we rest up a bit? Hmm? What's the matter? I get scared sometimes. Scared of waking up somewhere else. Scared of not seeing alone. Scared of not seeing rain. What happened to me? I feel... What is this I'm feeling? Scared. Fear. Oh, please let it be this room when I wake up. Please let me be in this puny bed when I wake up. Laguna, you've changed. And that sounds an awful lot like our visits to the dream world. Ah, uh, Zell got to go. Ah, uh, welcome back, Zell. Dream world again? Uh huh. What's Laguna doing? Dunno, I didn't see him. It's not like I know everything about Ward, but... Well... You know how Laguna and company went to that Cetra place and got into a real fix, right? After that, Ward's been all alone. He's been working in some sort of prison-like place. And he's bored out of his skull. All he wants is to be fighting alongside Laguna. So, what is this we're experiencing exactly? How the hell should I know? And now we are controlling Zell. Because of course we can. Um, I know how to advance the scene, but we're going to talk to everybody first. I wonder what happened to Squall. Did they bring him here too? Well, since we're prisoners, shouldn't we be trying to break out of here? I mean, she's not wrong. Hi, Renoa. Um, didn't you say that Ward was working in some kind of prison? Yeah, so? And wasn't he from Galbadia? Sure, he was a soldier there. Correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't you supposed to be Ward in that dream world? Yeah, just now I was. Does this room look familiar to you at all? Of all the stupid qu- Wait, whoa, wait a sec. I know this place! Everyone, listen up! This is the prison the ward works at! He's a janitor here! There's so many rooms just like this one! It's gotta be here! <laughs> there was a prison for political activists in Galbadia. This must be the place where ward works. Right here, where we are. I'm sure of it. It's no surprise we're in jail. We did attack the sorceress. We went up against the president. We'll all be sentenced to death. That president is no longer in charge. Now that Galbadia is in the hands of the sorceress, what's going to happen to us? Things don't look so good. 
What's gonna happen to us? Where the hell is that guy, Irvine? And where's Squall? To the sorceress? I have a more uh, pertinent question. Why would you put everybody who is a conspirator against the sorceress in the same fucking cell? You fucking idiot! Like, for real, for real. Okay, maybe not everybody, but... And it sounds like Irvine got away. Oh, hello, Squall. Where am I? I challenged Edia. My wound. No wound? How? And this is one of the things that is the basis of one of the worst fan theories out there. And I'm sorry if I'm going to offend people by saying it, but it absolutely is. It's the Squall is Dead theory, which is basically everything from the end of the first disc on to the end of the game is a dying dream. I think it's bullshit. It causes more. It uh, creates more questions than it answers. And it's stupid and I don't like it. And I don't subscribe to it. Uh, but the, the, the fact that he doesn't have a wound is treated as evidence that this is the case. It is a fucking sorceress. She probably used her magic and got rid of the wound. If you think about it, it makes sense because Squall has his scar because of the limitations of the medical uh, devices and... Uh, tools and whatnot that they had at Batlam Garden. He has a scar because there's only so much power magic can do. Sorceress Edia is a fucking sorceress, so of course she has more powerful magic, so she can probably knit flesh back to back without making it look like there was a wound at all. Uh so yeah. There's my two cents. Yeah, I probably lost some viewers and that's okay. Normally, I would say don't yuck someone's yum, but uh, the uh, the squall's dead theory is stupid. Sorry. The Galbadian soldiers. We were surrounded. He was there. Cypher, leering down at me. Damn you, Cypher. Ow. We are on the seventh floor, apparently. Meanwhile... Hey, what, what? What was that loud noise? I don't like him at all. It's the sound of your friend getting tortured. What? What do you mean? Shut up! Don't screw around with me! You understand who's in charge here? Yeah, big dick energy right there. I'm asking you a question. Ow! Fucker. Wow. Stop! Oh yeah, I forgot. Hey man, is there a Renoa with you? I'm Renoa. Oh, all right. Come over here. What are you doing to Renoa, you bastard? Whoa! Stop it already! Stop! I'll go. Renoa. I'll be fine. Let's go. Zell got beat down. And Squall can't keep standing.
Squaw, you're pitiful. <laughs> Ow! Take him away. Oh, what the fuck? I'm sure you can imagine what happens now. What do you want? Tell me what Seed is. Idiot demands to know. Seed? A code name for Valam Garden's elite mercenary force. Seed. Combat specialists. Wait, what? Don't you already know? I'm not a Seed. There must be some kind of secret you're given when you become a Seed. There's nothing. And even if there were, you think I'd tell you? You're on my tough nut to crack list. Didn't think you'd talk that easy. Jeez, I'm honored. So here's a little something for ya. Ouch. That's not fun. If you don't talk, others will. The instructor. Well, a messenger girl. Hell, even that chicken was. But you wouldn't last three seconds. <laughs> They're. They're. All here? Aw, oh, you bet. But since I like you so much. Thought you should go first. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be there, Squall. So, how about it? How'd I look in my moment of triumph? My childhood dream fulfilled. I have become the Sorceress's Knight. Sorceress's Knight? His romantic dream. Cypher. Now you're just a torturer. What'd you say? Passed out cold, eh? Hmm. But this is the scene where you swear you're undying hatred for me. The tale of the evil mercenary versus the sorceress's knight. The fun's just started, Squall. Don't disappoint me now. Yeah, cause that'll wake him up. Fucker. Ah, here! Ow, ow, ow! It's no use. There seems to be an anti-magic field here. Aww. Oh. What was that noise? You again? Fucker. Damn him. That numb skull. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Yo, what do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Yeah, you big meanie. Stop that. Oh. Love that. Y you regret those words. Yeah, fucking run. He's so mean. You okay? Doesn't work so well, but... Oh my god, what's going on with Selfie's back? Jesus Christ! We have a friend. Well, now, Squall, I'll ask again. What is Seed? And why do they oppose the sorceress? Seed? Oppose the sorceress? Sir Cypher, 
The missiles targeted for the garden are ready to launch. Oh boy. Excellent. Balam Garden is to be destroyed on charges of training seeds to oppose the sorceress. What? It's a pity, really. I grew up there. Hmm. Oh well. But orders are orders, and Edia wants it destroyed, so... Thumbs the brakes. <laughs> no. After the gardens are gone, the seed hunt will begin. You called me a lapdog before, but I'm more like Edia's bloodhound. We'll hunt down every last one of your kind. <laughs> It'll be fun, Squall. So don't die on me yet. Continue with the interrogation. Ready to talk? I don't understand the question. Don't mess with me. Idia says you know something. Now spit it out. Talk. What is seed all about? Seed. Aren't we mercenaries from Balam Garden? Special forces? Hmm? Yeah, so? I... I don't know any... anything. Why? Why? Why do you keep asking me? So, we are faced with two options. Much like we were with Zell just now. How we can either lie to live, or we can just basically say, fuck it, just kill me. What's that? Your... What'd you say? Your breath st stink stinks. Punk! You asked for it! High voltage! How's that? How you like me now, huh? Good night. Suicide by cop. Completely out cold, huh? Hey, you two Moombas, watch him. What now? We can't just sit here. We have to think of a way to escape. Anyone got a plan? Well, we could skin this little guy and wear him as a disguise. Oh, no, 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 Selfie, that is not cool. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Doesn't sound like you are. Well, we can't rely on magic here, so we'll have to go with the weapons. We have to get them back somehow. Weapons? My weapons are these fists of mine. I could do some serious damage without weapons. It's up to me, baby! Let me go! I'll go get the weapons back! Oh, yeah! You weren't Tyrus Ward, so you know the place! <laughs> Nah, yeah, really, all I warned did was mount the force. Just leave it to me. You two lie down there. So, I hope this works. Guard, guard! We need some help! Open the door! What's the problem? The women are unconscious. I think a snake bit them or something. What? How the fuck did a snake get in here? This is a sealed facility. What the fuck is going on here? Ow! Fuck that guy. Well, I'm off. Oh, uh, you wanna come too? Eh. I guess. Well, just don't get in the way. And... 
Und... But instead of going upstairs, which is actually where we're supposed to go, we're gonna go downstairs. One minute later. Yeah, no, we, we won't be able to do anything at this point. To wait a little bit longer. Hey guys! What you doing? That's not my gun blade. Look at this! Seed weapons! Is that what they call a gun blade? Check these out. A whip, nunchaku. Hey, my dude, what's up? You, you want an escapee? No, I'm just here to reclaim these. Not yours. Hey, what are you doing? Punch your lights out. Stole a potion. And stole a penis down. Good night. Piece of cake, baby. Such fucking dorks, and I love it. Don't hit my face. Stop grabbing my leg. Let me sleep. Laguna? Shut up! Except he just said Laguna. What the fuck? Laguna! Laguna? Laguna! Laguna! What? I don't understand. Laguna! Laguna! Ow. Laguna! 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 Laguna? Oh, sorry to keep you waiting. Sal, the weapons. Voila! Go kick some ass! Yes! Right <laughs> and equipment management time. Is this the cell with the uncooperative prisoners? Yes, this is it. Please give him something to really complain about. Should we be picking on prisoners so soon after getting transferred here? Just be quiet, let me handle this. These are the prisoners, Lieutenant Biggs, Private Wedge. Biggs? Wedge? We meet again. Now I'll teach you the lesson we should have taught you earlier. I know it might seem cowardly to fight unarmed prisoners, but I hope you'll appreciate our position. It's a doggy dog. Oh, fuck. My life. Uh, they're fully armed, sir. What? H ow! 
Ah, uh, hell with it. Let's go, Wedge. I was demoted because of you. I'm only a lieutenant now. I'll get my revenge. Try some of these uh, limits out. Oh, she just hasted herself twice. Yeah, thanks, self. Really appreciate it. Ooh, aura. Thank you, Quistus. And float. Get some bad breath. I'm just sticking around at this point. I think. Remedies, 10 AP, all brothers learned Strike Junction, and Carbuncle learned Recovery Med Redefine. Nice. So now Carbuncle can learn Status Defense Junction, and brothers can learn Elemental Attack Junction. And we will move on. Don't think you could just walk out. Ugh. This wall should be around here somewhere. Yep, any ideas? But feel kind of lucky. <clears throat> Let's just go after him, okay? What the? Warning escapee alert. Monsters will be set loose on each floor. If escapee refuses to surrender, you have permission to kill. The anti magic field will be lifted. The security alarm! Question, why would you remove the uh, the one thing that's keeping us from being able to use magic? I mean, not that it did us any good in the last fight, but even still. Okay, so we should be following the Moombas, but we're not going to right now. We're going to actually save. And we're going to explore the prison, because we can. And we have encountered none on. That means we should not run into any encounters. Oh look, 
Can we go paid? I'm gonna get demoted for this. I know that for a fact. Oh. We got an open room. Escape? Still got fresh legs, huh? Well, I'll stay here. I just don't want to die. By the way, wanna play some cards? I'm so bored. I'll give you something if you win. But you don't get anything for free here. Give you a discount, though. How about 500 guild per game? Yeah, we can afford it. And this is where the meme comes in. Hooray! Here you go. Received a potion. Not worth it. Get in that room. That's fine. heal the GFs. So there are tents which heal people, the pet houses which heal uh, GFs, and then cottages which heal both. to rename your GFs if you so chose. Hey, there's another box! And a strength up. Strength ups will increase the stat permanently. But it's not really worth it for one. And we are on the first floor. King number one. Had we opted not to come down at this point in the story, we would have actually missed that. We would have had to wait until it was available in stores to pick up. But in this case, we have it for free. And since we have it for free, let's take a look. Combat King number one. Do you guys know what a dolphin is? It's an adorable gray mammal that lives in the ocean. This skill called the Dolphin Blow draws out the secret power of the dolphin. I'll give it'll give the enemy a hell of a show. Dolphin Blow. B5, B6, B5, B6. Study the skill carefully. Remember, always use it for a good cause, okay? So, Zell now has a new uh, finisher. Or a new attack, rather. Also, um, at some point, I definitely want to show off some of his finishers. The only issue is, as you can see, B5, B6, B5, B6. Uh, you kind of have to guess which buttons they are because they're not actually telling you specifically what they are. I'm using an Xbox controller, uh, so I don't, I, like, I can always guess and I can see, but yeah. 
no, they make they don't make it easy with the Steam Edition. That's like the one thing about the Steam Edition I don't like. Okay. And with that, we can go back upstairs. Look at that, we got paid again. And now we can enter these rooms. Oh, hello. How do I know? Well, to tell you the truth, I'm also a Balam Garden student. Oh, but I can't give you any info. I'm working for Galbadia right now. I'm not supposed to do this, but I wanted to see you all with my own eyes. Hey, you need any items? You'll have to pay for them, of course. Man from Garden. We'll sell this shit. Just top off some stuff. You'll have to pay, of course. Oh, okay, so he won't play the cards. Cool. Moving. Okay, and we can't go in there. get in there can you imagine having to run up all these fucking stairs in real life oh hey you got a battle meter are you a mercenary or something if you win this game, I'll add something special to that thing for you. Then I'll charge 300 gil per game. Win. 
Okay, it's promise. A promise is a promise. Let me see that bill. Battle me. Just move this part around. There you go. Now you can look up even more detailed records. Yep, we now have a character report. Enemies killed 97 KO 9. Enemies killed 11. Twist is killed 26. Cypher's killed 1097. Selfie's killed 15. And Renoa's killed 7. And Irvine has killed 2. And then the battle report is just generic. So yeah, that's fun. I'm really bored. Want to play a card game with me? I'll give you something if you win. But I'll have to charge you for the game. It's only fair, right? How about 200 gil per game? Just as I promised. Nice. Yep. And that just shows us that we are following them correctly. choices that we were able to make both as Zella and Squall determine the appearance of the Moombas. If we decide to be monsters and let the guard beat up on the poor Moomba, the Moomba leaves and we don't have a little furry companion. Um, if Squall tries to lie in order to save his life, um, 
the Moombas are not called to guard him. For reasons, I have no idea. But, um, either way, if you're playing this for the first time, and you don't do any of that, uh, you're basically left running around not knowing where you're going to go. Thank you. <laughs> Didn't realize that my close proximity was uh, making the little guy excited. But yeah, no. Uh, yeah, literally doing that will not only ensure that you can make shortcuts for later, but uh, it also literally serves as a nap point of where you have to go. You know Laguna? I actually wanted to talk to the other people, but sure. Didn't you come here as Laguna in the dream world? No. So Squall doesn't know how to get out either. Either way... Well, either way, we keep we kept going up and up. I think we'd better head back down. It'd be a pain to go down every floor. The alarms alerted monsters and security guards everywhere. Yeah, because we had such a hard time with those. By the way, how the hell did they carry you up here, Squall? Whoa, what's that? It's like a crane that can carry a detachable cell from downstairs. Ooh, so this big hole goes all the way to the bottom. So if we jump all the way down, we're out of here. Go ahead if you want to be smashed like a squashed like a pancake. Oh yeah, I remember now. We can move this arm by using the panel above in the control room. I remember Ward doing this occasionally. But we need to operate them both at the same time. Someone needs to stay upstairs and control the panel. Nominated. M me? I mean, you know how to operate it as board, right? Fine. I'll give you instructions for upstairs. Everyone get on inside. So, this is the arm control room. Yo, can you guys hear me? Sound loud and clear. So, what do we do? Press the red button on the main panel. We will in a second. Ever good. I'll take care of the rest. There. Hey, so what are we going to do now? Well, there's a door over there. And... Does he really have to spell it out, though, guys? Let's check it out. If only we could get out of here. Can we get out? Nope. Sand? Buried? You mean we're underground? In any case, we can't get out from here. What's that? Gunfire? Sounds pretty bad. <laughs> I'll just let I'll just let the uh the dots connect for them. No! Let's get back quick. There he is over there! So is the SKP dead or alive? Oh man, there's too many. I'm out of here. Start running.
coming. No, I'm getting caught. Yep, there we go. Please have escaped! Die! Fuck you. Squall, where did you come from? Didn't think you'd go down that easy. Squall! Thanks, man! You're my hero! <sighs> what? Let, let go. I said let go. <laughs> Just bops him on the head with the end of a revolver. <laughs> Squall! I'm glad you're all right. Squaw, did you really want to go on your own? Is that that important to you? Aww, oh, fuck. Oh shit. There's no way we can get out of here. Oh, oh. Here I come to save the day! Audi. Come on! Stop trying to act so cool! Ouch! Gee, if only you had agreed with me earlier, we wouldn't be in this mess! Squall! He's alive! I knew he would be! Squall's okay! Yeah! Renoa, you're right. Uh huh. Uh, of course. Courtesy of my escort. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, my father pulled some strings with the military. He told them to get me and only me out. Then, so this guy here, he came and got me, just me, knowing you guys were still here. Uh, that's, isn't that horrible? All right, all right. I said I was sorry. That's why I'm here to help. Yeah, after I scratched you to death. Ugh. Well, anyhow, now's our chance. Basement door is buried in sand. Of course it is. Place buried underground. Buried? That's right, the prison is... There they are! It's the escapees! Get them! Oh boy. Squall, you choose two more party members and head on them. I'll hold them here. Up? Just, I don't have time to explain. Exit's up there. Trust me. Okay. I think I know the way. And we're gonna bring selfie. My turn to boogie now. And the, Irvine and the others will take care of the rest. We have to find the exit upstairs. Yeah, I know that. That's what I was trying to do. But the controls suck. can't go in there. Meanwhile. Oh man, this is endless. 
go. What's our next move? Hmm. I've got an idea. Can't we just go up again with the arm? Hey, good idea. But they got operated from that room upstairs. Leave that to me. All right, let's head to the floor where the arms stop. It's going back up. And that's why we wouldn't have been able to get the combat king because it immediately leaps forward at floor three. Prisoners may not go beyond this point, you will be terminated. They're coming! Zone, one of the new limits. I missed.
Hey, Squall, can you hear me? Hey! Hey, you guys! Is this what you were talking about? What if Squall and the others have already gone on ahead? I can hear you. See? Told you we'd be alright. Squall, go ahead and operate the arm. How? Squall, push down the yellow button on the up on your upper right hand side. Is this it? Alrighty. We'll be there in like a second. Wait right there. Hey! Is this supposed to be moving this slow? So uh, what's the rush? Looks like they'll be just fine, as Squall face palms. So about that exit. So, how do we get down? No way, when I came in earlier, it wasn't like this. Let's just head for that structure over there. Why did you stop in the middle of the thing? was way too dangerous, wasn't it? Yeah. I thought the arms were moving kind of slow. They had the submerged system on. Let's just get going. I want to ride the yellow one! I'll take that one too. Okay, me too. Hey, 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 ladies! Let's just go, Irvine. And with that, we have escaped the prison. As I said, with that, we have escaped the prison, and we're basically approaching the end of this video. So I am, what I'm going to do is, well, actually, I'll let it play out, and then the next bit that uh, we can uh, maybe, like, hold off from, like, progressing, I will do the sign-off, but we'll do this, this next bit. The sorceress is about to launch missiles at Garden? That's what Renoa heard from Irvine! The only thing we can do now is go back to Garden as soon as possible and warn the students. Alright, let's get in the car and go! They're targeting both Balam and Trabia Gardens! We, we have to interfere at the launch! We have to stop the missiles! So, as you can see, there's a structure, there's a pixelated structure to the left, that's to the missile base. And then there's a pixelated structure to the right, which is the train station. Also, what's this? Oh, it's arrow. Who cares? 
I'll do whatever Squall decides. So, like, I understand how Selfie feels, but... This isn't just about Selfie. The pistol base plan. You should probably go talk to Selfie. from Trabia Garden. I can't just sit around knowing that Trabia Garden's in danger. So Squall, please, decide who's going to go to Galbadia Garden. Oh, decide who's going to go to the Galbadia Missile Base before it gets, before it's too late. It's easier said than done. What if something happens to the party members I choose? Let's take a look. Squall will decide the party. Squall will decide, will return to Balam because he's the leader. Anyone against this plan, please raise your right hand. I don't mind which team you put me on. But you're an outsider. You're the leader, Squall. What are the teams? Leader? I never asked to be the leader. Well. Ah. Uh, I heard they were hitting Trabia first. And then Balam. Oh. Abia, I'm sorry. I couldn't stop it. Please let everybody be all right. Please. That was a miss, right? Squall, we have to report to Balam. Who are you taking? Come on, Squall. You have to decide, Squall. Squall, think carefully now. <sighs> I've had it up to here with this leadership thing. All right, all right. I'll choose. So. We jumped out of the fire... The, the frying pan and into the fire, so to speak. Galbadia is retaliating against Garden for the probably, uh, literally for opposing the sorceress. Uh, and to do that, they're going to destroy two out of the three gardens, and then the third garden, which is Galbadia Garden, is going to be serving as uh, Sorceress Edia's uh, base of operations. There's no guarantee that the missile base team will be successful in their endeavor, but they're sure as hell willing to try to at least save one of the gardens. A selfie is grayed out here because she can't go to Balam. Like there's there's nothing you can do to change that outside of maybe modding, but even then I haven't really seen any mods. And it makes no sense for her to be so uh, hell bent on doing something at the missile base and then being like, nah, I'll just go back to Balam Garden. And as Renoa succinctly put it, Swell's the leader, therefore he has to return to Balamgard. So, we get to choose our team members in this case. When I first started playing the game, uh, I used to do boys versus girls, I guess. The girls would all end up at the missile base and the guys would all end up in Balam. But over the times I have mellowed out and looking at the story, the way the story is told, the content and all of that. There's really only one combination that makes sense. Renoa comes with Squall for two reasons. She's the client and he likes her. So he doesn't want to put her in any undue trouble. Uh, Zell gets brought along because can you on it like after what happened in Timber, can you honestly see him navigating a missile base uh, discreetly enough to be able to, like, set it off? Yeah, no, it's better to keep an eye on him. Plus, again, there are things that we can do with these two in Balam Garden that we can't necessarily do with everyone else. So the teams, the missile base team will be Team Warm, which is Selfie, Irvine, and Quistus. 
And then Team Pool will be Squall, Zell, and Renoa. And it's not because of their temperament, it's because of their, their color scheme. But this is where we're going to leave it off. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like or subscribe. If not, leave a comment below letting me know what I can do to improve. And as always, guys, until the next time. Ciao. the missile base infiltration team. I have to be. They launch missiles at my Travia. This team will now head for um, the rest to the missile base. Should I go with this? This mission is unlike any other. It's not an order or a request from anyone. Selfie, do you have some kind of plan? I think if we take this Galvanian army vehicle, we should be able to make it inside of the base. But that's about it. I'll have to think about the rest once we're inside. Do you think that'd be okay? I'm sorry. I mean, thanks. There isn't much time. You guys better hurry back to Balam Garden. See you at Bellam Garden.